Today, we upgrade. Okay, so here is my new kit of stuff, except that we don't we don't need glue. Here it is, the uh, C70, the 18 to 35 millimeter by Sigma, control ring, mount adapter, the SWIP battery. It has a USB-C port. I was using a 65 watt uh, wall charger, so uh, it charged it pretty good, charged pretty quick. Sarbent uh, Rocket V90. I also got this Rode NGT2 microphone with a dead cat. Got the manual right here. This is the uh, wall charger. This is a nice little top handle. I, I do like this. The shoulder strap. All right, that is just plastic. Don't need that. This is the mount for the uh, microphone. The OEM battery, the uh, BPA30. No charge. This does not come charged, guys. Here we go. A little bit of wall power action. Now for the big one. Here we go. There was some angels right now that could do the whole, ah, uh, this thing is light. This is coming from somebody who has a uh, Canon C300. So I'm very, uh, I'm very taken back by this. Just the, the light, <laughs> the lightness of it is just very, very light. And it feels like a, it feels like the size of a, in weight of a Canon 5D Mark II with the uh, grip. In case you're wondering, my son loves Paw Patrol, okay? I'm a family man, don't get it twisted. That's kind of sturdy. I don't know what people are saying online. They're like, oh, the handle moves too much. No, this thing is like, prom night virgin tight, yo. Just wanna get a nice snug fit on these things. You really don't want to strip out the threads. Now, I could be wrong, but I was told that you can actually connect this, like, with screws. And it can just, like, live on the camera permanently. I kind of hope so, because I really don't see myself buying any RF lenses anytime soon. Yeah, no, that's... I, uh, I misheard. Or maybe I was misinformed, one of the two. This will work with, um, what do you call it? EF and EFS glass. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's coming together really nice. Let's see if this battery works. Now, I'm told that specific batteries um, will, are kind of like a no-no with this particular camera. Like it'll throw out some warning saying, hey, you can't use this battery. So um, we'll find out in a second. It's called a dead cat. I don't know why. Well, I mean, probably because of the looks of it. It looks like roadkill, I guess. The uh, camera itself will distribute phantom power. But just in case, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a battery. Got XLR to mini XLR. I've seen some people actually take these tabs out. I'm compelled to do that, but I'm not sure, man. I really don't know. We should take this time to um, to address my sponsors, which is nobody, because I'm not a fucking sellout. I gotta say, I really like this uh, card holder. It's the cheapest card that I could find, and yet the way it feels with the with this case, it makes it feel a lot more premium. Moment of truth. So it says here that there's 65 minutes on this card and the SWIT battery is showing as a full charge. I'm told that when you when uh, you start recording, is that's when it's going to rear its ugly head, whether or not it's uh, the card is going to read or not. We'll see. We shall find out. Around this time last year, I did a video talking about my Canon C100 and my Canon C300 in 2023 and it got a lot of great views it showed how well that camera still holds up today even for something as simple as talking head videos i guess the big question is 
Why? Why did I decide on upgrading my gear? I want to shoot um, real estate videos. Me walking around with a Canon C300 trying to shoot a real estate video is just, it's going to cause my arms to pretty much fall off because that camera is heavy. When it came for me deciding on what camera to get, to me it was all about form factor. There are a lot of great cameras that shoot 4K. Almost every camera that you get new today will shoot 4K and upwards to 12K, which is overkill. So my two cameras that I was thinking about at the time was the um, FX30 or the Canon C70. I really liked the way the, uh, the FX30 was. It was very small, very compact, but still packed a great, great image. It was actually cheaper than the C70, which is why I was kind of leaning towards it. But the main factor for me deciding on the Canon C70 was ND filters. Once you go with a camera with internal NDs, you really don't want to settle for like anything else. I love this camera. This is a beautiful, beautiful camera. And I love the fact that it is so like versatile. For a talking head video like this, all I gotta do is stick it on a tripod. I already know which lens to use, which is gonna be the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter. It's perfect for like going to like weddings or corporate events. When you're shooting like a wedding, you need to be as light as possible with your gear because you have to be moving from spot to spot trying to get uh, that shot of the ring being put on the finger, the vows that are being said, the um, of course, that, that first kiss, not to mention you're trying to also maneuver around a uh, still photographer. You know, he's going to try to get in your way. He doesn't care if you're there. He's going to get the shot. I can vlog with this camera because it is about the same weight as the Canon 5D Mark II with the battery grip with the batteries attached in there. The Rode Video Mic Go works on this camera. I can attach a, a dead cat to that and then use the 10 to 18 millimeter. And that's the lens that Casey Neistat uses a lot in his, uh, in his work. I know he used it a lot when he had the Canon 70D and 80D, not ADD. Usually I use the uh, Rode wireless microphone. Today I wanted to try something different. I'm using the Rode NGT2, which is connected to my XLR adapter, which goes from regular XLR to mini XLR. I love the fact that I could actually set it to where it could either be separate channels or I can actually link both channels so I can just use this as a stereo microphone. It does the Canon Log, Canon Log 2 and Canon Log 3, but for this, for this talking head video, I wanted to try something different. So I'm using the uh, YDR Rec 709. I see right now from the screen that it's, that I got everything punched in correctly. The autofocus is amazing. I desperately needed a really good autofocus, especially one with face and eye detection, which is working pretty good on the Sigma so far. If I'm gonna be going to places like Comic-Con, I know I need to pack light. Again, having something like the C70 is going to be perfect for that. This has digital IS, so it crops in just a little bit, but it seems to work really good. I've tried it a couple times already, and it's definitely perfect if you're using a uh, lens with image stabilizer already on it. Again, versatility. The fact that I have something so compact yet so powerful, it opens the door to so many possibilities of where I can take this camera you know I could probably vlog with it in different stores and whatnot I remember one day I took my Canon C100 into a Toys R Us as it was closing to try to get some shots because I wanted to talk about you know how much I'm going to miss Toys R Us if I was taking that Canon C70 instead of the C100 I probably would have been able to get a lot more shots and I probably would not have been kicked out. Uh, the only drawback from having something like a C70 is showing up to like an event, like a corporate event or a wedding, and you show you know your client what you're using. Even though that little camera is a beast, you know 
to the untrained eye, it's a toy. So if I show up to an event, I'm gonna show the client my C70, but I'm gonna have that thing rigged out. I'm gonna make sure it's got my top handle on with the NGT2. It's got my uh, large capacity battery. I'm rocking a big lens like the 70 to 200 millimeter. I show up with that, they're gonna think, okay, this guy means business. This camera's been out for a few years already. I know that the uh, C400 has just been announced and it's on its way. And that looks like a nice camera, but I am I love my C70. I really love this thing. I can't wait to use this. And I'm gonna be doing a lot more outdoor vlogging now that I have something more uh, compact and portable. I can't wait to start shooting documentaries and or shooting music videos because I know this is gonna be perfect for those situations. And I just can't wait. And uh, I hope that you guys stick around and enjoy the ride. And the best way to do that is, of course, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button because I got more stuff on the way. Till next time, be true, be you.